is the party over for EM? Kamak Shire Trivedi is the co-head of Emerging Markets and FX Research. Joining us from Goldman Sachs, good morning. Good morning. Is the party over? Uh, we don't think so. We think it's, uh, it's a pause before uh, these broader trends of emerging market strength and a soggy dollar uh, yeah. reinforce themselves. The, the soggy dollar, let's talk about that for a moment. I, I was in um, South Africa a couple of weeks back and, and talking to some of the kind of senior guys within the finance community and the government and their biggest concern was that the Fed went too far too fast. Is that the biggest risk for EM right now? I think that is one of the risks for emerging markets, um, but I think it's one that we think should be taken with a certain amount of poise. I mean, we should not forget that the Fed responds to uh, surprises, either to activity and inflation, at a different uh, frequency than markets. I mean, last year you had five to six successive negative downside surprises to inflation, and that didn't put the Fed off from its uh, three to four tightening action uh, path that it had last year. I think we've had a couple of upside surprises to inflation this year and I don't think the Fed will overreact to that either I think they're going to continue on the gradual pace exactly that that they've that they've laid out so um, it is a risk but I don't think at, at the current juncture it's probably the highest risk that I would I would flag for emerging markets Manny Roman the CEO of PIMCO told us he doesn't see a bear market in bonds what do you expect rates to do and how does that affect your EM investments our, uh, our, our year-end target, 2018 target for 10-year for bonds is 325. So what that means is we expect rates to go up, but we expect the pace of that increase to slow uh, relative to what you've seen over the past couple of weeks, which has been a very rapid pace of uh, yield increase. What I would say there for, from an emerging market standpoint is that it map, the context of bond deals going up matters. So it, it matters whether they're going up very fast in an environment where people are concerned about slower growth that tends to be the most painful for risk assets more broadly but also for emerging markets and I would argue that that's the sort of environment we've been in for the past two weeks where people have been somewhat concerned about growth and yields have been going up fast on the other hand when you know bond yields go up gradually um, along with stronger growth those types of environments tend to be good for emerging market assets good for EM currencies and that's sort of the environment we had um, you know back in December January February. That was a period where bond yields went up uh, quite sharply. Growth was stronger. Emerging market assets were stronger. The dollar was weaker. So I think we've, have, we've been in a somewhat different uh, environment for the past two weeks. But I do think that as you know, even the data this week will come through in the next couple of months as you get past some of the winter disruptions or you get past some of the, uh, the issues with Lunar New Year and you know, growth data sort of uh, uh, stabilizes, I think that, uh, that context will change and that will be a better environment for emerging market assets.